Don't consider moving to Montreal in 2024 without knowing these 10 things first. My name is LJ Ganaga, real estate broker at LJ Realties here in Montreal. If you have any questions about the real estate market here, considering buying, selling, or relocating to Montreal, please schedule a call with me down below. Now let's dive right into it. First, the most important one is that it's a bilingual city. You will need French, not like other Canadian cities in Canada. It's extremely important to get comfortable with at least a basic level of French. Depending on your travel permit, you will be able to take a French course that will help you in the beginning. Now, a lot of people think that, okay, we're in Canada. I can just use English. Everything's totally cool. And while in theory, yes, you can definitely live and get around just by having English overall, particularly in Montreal, as you get further away from Montreal, it becomes more difficult. It is a bilingual province. It is one of the things that sets us apart. So it is super important to speak French and really enjoy and dive into the culture here. Second, we have extremely cold winters and four very different seasons. It's very beautiful to get to know all the seasons and there's lots of activities that you can do with these different seasons. However, you have to be prepared for them and you have to invest in clothing to that effect. You really wanna make sure that you have excellent cold weather clothing so that you can enjoy that weather. Now for each season, there's all sorts of different activities that will keep you motivated through the year to get back to our wonderful summer. Now to elaborate a little bit further on this, Clothing really matters and having the right layers in winter and even in the spring and the fall because temperatures can kind of change very quickly on us. We're in the middle of the fall right now and we had 20 degree weather two days ago and then we went down to minus two degrees two days later, right? So you can see these very large spreads that are happening all the time. As long as you're prepared for it, as long as you check the weather and that you have the right equipment, you'll really be able to enjoy all the different seasons that we have to offer. Three. Montreal has a lot of immigrants, and this is amazing. You will find anything you need from any culture you can think of. It's difficult to feel homesick as a foreigner since you can find anything that you want from people of all over the world. Now, Montreal is a melting pot of diversity and of communities, and it's really, really awesome because if you want different types of food, clothing, trinkets, whatever it might be, you can find it in Montreal, I promise you. This has always really resonated with me. Whenever I travel all over the world, whether it's Italy, wherever it might be, I always come back thinking, well, we have food just like this back home. We have some excellent restaurants that really allow us to take a piece of the entire world with us and stay in Montreal. Four, the job market is very strong. Just keep in mind that 95% of the companies are going to ask you if you speak French. It is a requirement, but I can honestly say that Montreal has a very strong presence in different industries. As long as you're ready to work, you'll find an opportunity. Now this can be basic work starting as a part-time employee, whether it's at a juice bar or in retail, whether you wanna work in a factory or something of that nature, or if you wanna go all the way up to possibly HR, finance, tech, we have such a broad scope of companies that are looking for employees all the time that it's really difficult to say that you can't find a job, but there's definitely a lot of people who are possibly sitting on the sidelines because they're just not ready to work. And that's the problem that we're probably suffering more than anything right now. Number five. Montreal is famous for its different world-class restaurants. I touched on this a little bit earlier. You can find anything you like. Quality will be amazing most of the time. Obviously, there's always a buyer beware on that, but generally speaking, you can find excellent food all over Montreal, and it's one of my favorite parts of the city. Six, Montreal has a lot of festivals. It's a city with a lot of cultural events, museums, you name it. There's something for everyone, and in almost all the festivals, you can find something for free, so it isn't all about the money. Now, I'm a big proponent of these festivals, whether it's Oceaga, Lasso, the Jazz Fest, you name it, Just for Laughs has a very special place in my heart as well. There really is something cultural to do just about every month of the year, which is really, really awesome. We even have Igloo Fest in the winter, so the snow doesn't really slow us down by any means. We really get to embrace all the different seasons and make the most of it. Seven, we are the only city in Canada that has F1, Formula One. We're my Lewis Hamilton fans right now. So if you are a fan of F1, the city is so vibrant through that period. Now, a lot of Montrealers will tell you that they try to get away during that period. But if you are a fan of the sport, it really is a very lively time of the year. It's such an awesome part of the city, in my opinion. Number eight, Public transportation is amazing. You have buses, metros, and trains, so there's always an option to get around the city and most of the suburbs. Now, this is something that a lot of us took for granted being Montrealers, but as you travel a bit more in the US and go to different parts of the world, you notice that not everybody has this luxury. And the fact that generally speaking, you can hop on public transit and really in the furthest parts of Montreal, be downtown within an hour, sometimes even 30 minutes, it's really a luxury that we have. In the downtown area, you can get anywhere probably in about 15 to 30 minutes max. So transportation and getting around makes the city super unique, in my opinion. We're, we're a small city, even being a metropolitan, and the fact that we have access to all this public transit makes it so nice to get around. Number nine, healthcare is public, but it might take a while to understand how it works. 
What I mean by this is that you really want to make sure that you have a family doctor set up right away when you get here. And you're also probably going to want some private insurance because although the whole system is public, it's usually quite slow. Now, if you are dying, you're going to be seen right away. But if it's not something that's life threatening or critical, the wait might be anywhere from six to 24 months in some cases. So the system works. Some people are going to argue that it's broken. Um, it's definitely not fantastic, but we do have everything for free when it comes to actually needing proper services. Number 10, the cost of living is not as high as the other big cities in Canada. And you have an international airport that will connect you with the rest of the world. So this is one of my favorite things. The quality of life that we get in Montreal is just, it's very difficult to find it in other parts of the world. A lot of the time when you travel to other places and you get a lot of quality of life, you realize that the real estate's a lot more expensive. The food prices are a lot more expensive. Everything kind of sneaks up on you. So the fact that we have this reduced cost of living here with access to the entire world with our international airport really is just the best of both worlds in my opinion. This wraps up my 10 must knows before you move to Montreal in 2024. I'd be curious to know if you have any other must knows for Montreal. Please let me know in the comments down below. My name is LJ Ginaga. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please connect with me on socials or if you have any other questions, feel free to book a call directly with me. Have a great day.